Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today I am so excited because we are going to be doing a full face of Victoria Beckham Beauty. I have recently picked up a couple new things. I'm a huge fan of her satin Kajal eyeliners and she just launched a new color in Orchid, which I am so excited to share with you. I was in the market to pick up my favorite eyeliner in Cinnamon. If you haven't picked up that one, that's an ultimate favorite. But I was a little bit excited about this new Orchid color, so I ordered that. I also have her brand new perfume launch in 2150 reverie and then i just went ahead and pulled out all my favorite victoria beckham beauty i'm going to be using her new concealer pulled out my favorite blush highlighter my, my favorite posh balm basically we're going to have fun doing a full face of victoria beckham beauty being inspired by the orchid satin kajal eyeliner and her new perfume. So if you are interested in learning a little bit more about these new products, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we are going to do a full face of Victoria Beckham. I'm so excited because as many of you know, I'm a huge fan of the satin Kajal eyeliners. Um, one of my favorites is Cinnamon and I was out of that and then they just launched a new gorgeous one in Orchid. <laughs> so I was a wee bit excited plus I love her new concealer. I also picked up her new fragrance so we are going to have fun just doing a full face of Victoria Beckham. I am going to start with the Victoria Beckham. This is her Cell Rejuvenating Priming Moisturizer. And I have this one in golden. So what I have been loving is the combo of using like a little healthy glow tint and then using a concealer, not only underneath my eyes, but on my entire face. And I really like her concealer in the shade L1. It's just a really fantastic concealer and I know everybody wants me just to pick one but I literally have been kind of rotating through um, you know the Westman Atelier, the Sarah Creel Face Flex, and the Victoria Beckham. So today I'm going to show you how I use my Victoria Beckham concealer but we're going to start and we're going to take a pump of this priming moisturizer in golden and the beauty of this one is it is not too dark it is just going to give me a slightly healthy glow on the skin and I just use my hand here this does include the Augustinus Botter skincare in it so this is kind of a tinted moisturizer and let me just blend that into the skin. It comes in two different shades. I've already gone through a bottle of the original that's more like a champagne color. I'm debating as to which one I would buy again because I'm finding that this golden one when I wear this one along with the concealer, it's really not too dark. Um, I know that people have been telling me that their Sarah Creel, the uh, Brilliant Repair Shield, um, is, you know, a little too orangey or dark. Let's go ahead and do a little swatch right there of the two of them. This one is the Sarah Creel right there. And this is the Victoria Beckham kind of trying to show you the difference here. <laughs> right now, it's looking like a big blob here. Um, but I guess what I would tell you is I'm kind of rubbing in. That's the Victoria Beckham. And then let me show you the Sarah Creel here. 
uh, right there. So at the top and the bottom. Basically, I'm trying to get away with a little healthy glow for a little bit longer. Okay, here is what that priming moisturizer looks like in golden. I'm hoping you can see on camera, but it truly is not um, too much or too orange. It sort of meshes in with your skin tone um, and is just going to kind of give you a little moisturized, healthy glow. And then I'm going to be using my Victoria Beckham Concealer. I have this in the shade L1. And yes, this is a click pen. And I feel like people either like them or they don't. So that is going to be a determiner if you do like it. And here is the shade L1. That's what it looks like right there. And then I am going to come in. And what I like to do is I'm going to put some there. You kind of just do like a little X, okay? So I'm going to kind of do a little X here. And I'm just taking out plenty of product. It, you don't have to do it that much. And then I'm going to do a little X on the cheek and X on the cheek a little right on my chin and then I like to come down with what's ever left on my brush here and then I am going to take a little blending brush here and just buff this into my skin. You can use your fingertips as well and I'm going to use the fingertips a little bit more, like right where my eyes are over here. We'll kind of press the product in to this skin here. But can you see it's just going to lighten up the skin and perfect it. The texture is very light and forgiving. I would call this very flexible. That's what I would say. A very nice flexible concealer. It feels very hydrating on the skin. I just then gonna take the warmth of my hands here. Okay, I really love this combination. So it's giving me a little bit of coverage, evening out my skin, um, but it doesn't feel like I have anything on my skin. That's what I love about it. Um, really, really nice. I would say light to medium concealer. You can definitely build it up, um, but I've been loving this little combination for those days when I want something natural, healthy looking skin. And then what I like to do is come in with her contour stick. I have this one in marble and then I'm going to warm up the skin. I'm going to keep the eyes pretty minimal as far as eyeshadow because I want to show you this new beautiful eyeliner. So we're going to kind of just keep this simple, but I'm going to come from the top of my ear here down. I'm going to use this as my crease color. I'm going to come down just a little bit. I'm going to contour my nose just a bit here. And then I like to come and sort of snatch underneath and then sort of snatch underneath my chin area. Give a little bit of shadow there. So I'm just going to blend that in. Okay, a little warmth on the skin, but I'm dying to play with this new shade of eyeliner. So we are gonna do eyes next. And I picked this up in the new Orchid shade. If you have not used these eyeliners yet, these are the Satin Kajal eyeliners. 
They are so amazing. I do admit there's a little bit of a learning curve with these eyeliners. By that I mean they are very super creamy. Um, they kind of create this really lovely lived in makeup look. When I first used these, I found them to be sort of like messy, like they're very creamy. You can kind of blend them in but Victoria Beckham is known for her classic smoky eye and that is what I was going to say is that these kind of help create that. You definitely can get a clean line out of this but the way that I like to use them is to kind of smudge them out create a really easy smoky eye and I am a huge fan of the eyeliner in cinnamon so that is probably my favorite one out of all actually that I'm lying I love navy noir that's like my go-to it creates the best it's like the best navy blue um, but cinnamon is my go-to for like a bronzy eye that's cinnamon and then they launched this gorgeous orchid and I am somebody who loves some purple on my eyes I'm hoping that this is not um, too pinkish so this is the shade orchid right there so pretty and I'm hoping that it's gonna pop my hazel green eyes so I'm going to first tight line near the upper lash line then I will take some of that actually on um, near the lash line and smudge it out so we're going to create an orchid smoky eye look and then we can always use that cinnamon if we want to add a little bit more that's what I love about these eyeliners it's kind of like eyeliner and um, shadow in one if you want it to be really super easy eye and this is a gorgeous color here I'm gonna smudge that out but kind of in love with this color it is gorgeous Taking the other side here and I just want to slightly smoke that orchid shade out. Really, really pretty. We have been looking for a replacement. Back in the day I loved purple chalk from Chanel and that no longer exists but that used to be my go-to color. And it was sort of a lighter purple shade. That's really pretty. I'm actually going to put a little bit down on the lower lash line because of my eyes are a little more mature kind of naturally <laughs> is going to gravitate towards that bottom lash line but that's okay that's what I love about these pencils they're gonna um, once they dry they're gonna stay in place but they are going to you know be creamy they offer you that lived in makeup look and they are so darn pretty okay I really love this orchid color so pretty it's gonna look beautiful on all eyes I do think it's gonna pop um, hazel green eyes I think it's gonna pop blue eyes it is gonna look good on all eye colors we can build that up but I thought what I would do first is um, put on some mascara I pulled out the um, future lash from Victoria Beckham and I'm going to use this today. Full face of Victoria Beckham products. I will admit this is not my favorite mascara. I want to try it again 
but I had said this previously, it's not the kind of brush that I like. I believe she has another mascara that I have not picked up yet, but we're gonna go ahead and try this again. Sometimes you just need to give things a second chance and see how they perform. But for myself, I like um, a more traditional brush, kind of a little thicker, fatter. But I'm going to just spend a couple minutes basically building these up. I think the first time I used it, I just thought it was like a little too natural where I wanted a little bit more impact on my lashes because I am somebody who needs her eyeballs on. I never feel quite awake until I have on my kind of my eyeliner and my mascara. Those are the two things that I desperately need. Otherwise, I feel like my eyes just sort of fade into the background. Got the mascara on. Probably still not my favorite mascara, but I do think I need to try her other one. If you have tried that, let me know. This totally did lengthen my lashes. I think it's literally um, just not my favorite brush. Like it feels like a little, um, it's just not my favorite brush, but it is not a bad mascara. Just telling you my opinion. Okay, we've got a little bit of that orchid on my eyes. I love it just on its own. I did pull out one of my favorite eyewears and that is in caramel and caramel's just a kind of soft bronzy color here and I'm just going to add a little bit of that caramel just on Kind of in that crease and then I'll blend it out. I kind of thought it would be a nice contrast between the orchid here. And again, these are great because they are so easy to use, but you get a nice little impactful eye. Love a little eye shadow stick here. So pretty. Oh, I'm thinking of another one I could have used. Oh. The name is escaping me. Um, <clears throat> shroom. <laughs> shroom. Shroom would have looked really pretty with the orchid as well. That would have been a little bit more cool toned. I often like to do like a little bit of warm and cool on my eyes and then bam we've got our eye on and then I'm coming in with my bronzer. I have this in the shade two and I love this bronzer. It's one of these ones that I need to pull out more often um, but it's just like kind of the perfect. I like just mix both shades here uh, and I'm just going to kind of warm up the skin and then we'll pop on one of her blushes, which I do, her blushes are amazing. Um, they are kind of dewy looking, which I like. It gives you a little healthy glow. This is going to be matte, so this is going to kind of provide me with a little powder on the face. I'm kind of just putting it all over for a little nice warmth here. Then I pulled out one of my favorite blush colors from her. This one is Major, and it's just kind of a perfect little pink flush. So I'm going to dab this on my cheeks. And I'm going to buff this out. Isn't that pretty? Um, I always get asked about the differences between the Westman Atelier Baby Cheek Blushes and the um, Victoria Beckham Blushes. 
as far as cream blushes and I always feel like these ones kind of have just a little I don't want to say dewiness because they're not greasy at all but I just feel like it gives that um, flush meaning that they kind of have a little bit of that glass skin they're kind of thin in texture but they give you this really nice healthy glow on the skin they are long lasting I really do like both baby cheeks and these but I feel like the texture of these comes on just a little bit thinner if that makes sense and I feel like it gives my skin a little bit more glow now her highlighter in reflect is literally one of the best glass skin highlighters you can pick up literally um, when I tried this back in the day I was literally blown away by how beautiful this like makes your skin look and again it's not glittery or anything like that that's what I'm going to say is her products like look natural on the skin but it is going to provide you with glass skin. Can you see that there? It's beautiful because um, it looks kind of like a really pretty champagne. This looks gorgeous on the lips, but we're about to use one of my favorite ever lip products from Victoria Beckham. And I'm hoping she's going to expand her shade range because that's how much I love them. I bet you can guess. Yep, it's the new balms, the best ever. Okay, then the perfect lipstick to go along with this look is the Posh Balm in Cassis. And if you are a fellow lover of Clinique Black Honey, you are gonna love this Posh Balm. The reason I love these so much is this truly grips your lips it is moisturizing it is shiny um, it is nourishing like these are the best i am I'm truly hoping that she expands the color range that's how much i love these balms and i have already repurchased this i gave my daughter this one this is like a great little gift as well because pretty much Cassis is one of those universal colors that looks good on everyone. And I go ahead and put this on. Now it looks darker in the tube than it is. I don't know if you can see, but it literally is gripping my lips here. And then it adds the perfect amount of shine it is not gloppy whatsoever. And I freaking love Cassis. I love this color. I think it goes great with our orchid eye. And I'm having so much fun pulling out my faves from Victoria Beckham. And then I did pick up her new perfume. This is 2150 Reverie. And if you came to Mandy and I's live event, you already heard me talk about this. But let me just read you the inspiration behind this scent. So number one, let's take a moment to look at the packaging here the whole deal and I don't know if you can tell on camera but this is this like gorgeous hunter green like it's a really deep green color forest green it's so beautiful and I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you I love this scent it is like the best out of the bunch I love Portofino let's see I would say this is my other favorite Portofino 97, but this one is a beautiful woody vanilla scent. It does have tobacco in here as well. Sometimes tobacco and I are not best friends. This is not a, a smoky scent. This one is kind of like a sweet tobacco leaf in here. So first let me read the inspiration to kind of give you the story behind it. And I'm just going to be reading right here what this says, what it says. A sensory seduction, a faraway fantasy, the grounding essence of the earth. 
Victoria Beckham extracts the luxuriant ambience of Java Nights in the memory of 2150 Reverie. The grassy scent of tobacco leaves carried by candles in the tropical evening wind. The plush trace of plum on the lips of another, the earthy rawness of vanilla pods and tonka beans blending with cedar wood of the land. So I don't know about all of that, but the main notes in here are tobacco leaves, a plum note, um, vanilla and tonka. And I am obsessed with vanilla and tonka scents. I was a little worried about the tobacco. And this is also a scent that is genderless. It is unisex scent here. And I am somebody who typically, I would say, gravitates a little bit more towards um, more feminine fragrances but the notes in here were drawing me in and to me this was a love at first sniff scent I am a fan of vanilla scents I was worried that this might be too earthy but I'm kind of leaning into that kind of foresty um, earthiness at the moment kind of enjoying some of those woody scents and this fragrance has sort of a magical airiness about it like when you read the notes you might think this is like really dense and what I like about it it's got some oomph to it it just smells fantastic but I would say it's got a little like forest fairy dust in here there's a little bit of earthiness to this and the tobacco leaves um, are kind of adding a little sweetness it's not a smoky scent um, kind of that sweet tobacco the tonka and the vanilla like you can almost smell the quality of both of those notes in here um, it does it smells like kind of rich it smells a little bit opulent but it's got this kind of down to earth feel as well like this is just a great everyday scent you can dress it up you can dress it down it's not one of those scents that I feel like oh this needs to be reserved for an evening or anything like that I just feel like this is going to be one of my like go-to scents it's kind of an easy wear if that makes sense um, but I think it's going to shine in the little bit cooler weather um, it's got that warm touch to it definitely a year rounder so I think what I love about this is the way that it makes me feel like when I sprayed this on it had sort of a grounding effect if that makes sense it's almost like a little calming um, with some of those warmer notes I will admit that the plum note in here is not super dominant um, like when I first smell a perfume I try not to like read the notes per se ahead of time I try to just like smell it um, test myself to see if anything is jumping out at me um, and with this one I did not really smell any of that plum I did smell like vanilla pods and tonka those are two of my favorite notes so I was already attracted to this and then the bottle itself was just screaming my name I feel like we need to get a sweater in forest to match the perfume how crazy is that I should have thought of it before but <laughs> The bottle kind of exudes what's inside. There is this really nice kind of foresty element to it. Like I feel like I'm going on a hike here. Like So this to me is like the perfect everyday scent. It's not too dense. It's not too airy. I would say that for some people when they read the notes they would think that this was going to be like a little bit denser of a fragrance and it isn't but it's not a light fragrance if that makes sense um, I would just say there's like this kind of pillowy airiness of vanilla and tonka in it which both of those are warmer notes um, and so there is like a airy cloud of that that's what I would say is I get a very nice scent trail with this but not in a way that this is like whoa this is a really strong perfume 
it is not it but you are going to get that scent trail with this this was a fragrance that when I sprayed it on and I went down and my husband said oh what are you wearing that smells good and I could tell that he was kind of wondering you know if he could wear this scent too and that's what I liked about this and that's what I thought was cool because literally this is described as a genderless perfume and I don't know if he would necessarily wear this but he was attracted to it if that makes sense and um, there's certain scents that I wear that are very feminine and floral that are like that's specifically for me whereas this one just smells incredible and honestly out of all four of the fragrances that she has created so far this is my number one um, the Portofino 97 is my number two. I do own the other two fragrances, but I will admit I don't wear them that often. So these are sort of my two favorite in her collection. And this is number one. I love it. And it's not just about the forest green color. It really is about the notes, the way that this makes me feel. And it is a really delicious fragrance. I would say this is a soft gourmand not like too gourmand whatsoever um, I probably would categorize this more as a woody vanilla like a little bit more of an earthy um, vanilla scent and I am just loving it so that is my full face of Victoria Beckham makeup I am loving this orchid eyeliner I think it's really pretty and I do feel like it's sort of popping my eyes. I think we need to do another whole look using Victoria Beckham inspired by this bottle. I love her bottle green eyewear. We could do something fun like that and I will have to like of course get a forest green sweater to go with. So let's plan on another full look using Victoria Beckham but just wanted to pop on have fun doing a full face. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I'll be back with another video soon.